And I leave you now with the smooth sounds of uh, Anita Baker. <laughs> Uti, my angel. <laughs> my angel. Stop, stop, stop. Cut it. <laughs> Cut the camera. You're Did it. my angel. <laughs> Of that actually now that we're talking about music uh what's your favorite genre alternative right now alternative what rock pop jazz anything that's like Just not mainstream essentially yeah no i'm with you on that one i'm gonna die on the hill of king crow forever um i don't know if i'm willing to die but i, I can <laughs> i can get assaulted i can <laughs> Like I'll fight, okay. I'll get beat up about it, <laughs> but I, I, I'll take me to the ICU. <laughs> okay, what about you? Um, yeah, I'm on the same wavelength, but I'm also like very much into figuring out how we got here, and by that I mean, sort of existentially. No, nah, man. Okay, I don't. I. But more so, like, like sort of how music got to where it is. So, but, but so in order to do that, you have to go back into the past, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm very interested. I, I'm such a huge fan of like 60s, 70s, 80s music. Obviously, 90s R&B because I'm a 90s kid. But like yeah. anything, I I I just sometimes I just put like so like even on my Apple, like my station. I don't know, like sometimes there's this thing called like a station. Yes. It depends. Like the themes will change a lot of times, but most of the times it's really just like old school songs I've never heard before, and I just listen to that shit. Like, oh, I discovered a new, a new Shaka Khan song the other day. I was like, oh, okay, this I is fine. Try I, I never use the stations. It's, I just use the one that's my station. Like, okay. I, I don't go to other people's things. What for? Yeah. Um, discovered some new Teddy Pendergrass. I was like, this is sexy. I almost thought you said so, discovered new titties. I'm like, what? <laughs> discovered a new Teddy Pendergrass I was like mm-hmm. I mean I like, knew Teddy Pendergrass don't get me wrong but I mean like songs that I didn't know before is what I mean yeah. and like Shaka Khan and all that jazz I feel like and Teddy is such a hard name oh, I don't know why it's just, like... what is it short for though is it like is there you know usually like 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 Billy's like a nickname for William hate it oh white people names and nicknames I fucking hate it it <laughs> makes me so mad <laughs> why is John short for James why John yes Someone's uh, told me that John and James are like no, it's Jimmy. Fuck. Jimmy is for James. I know that. But, uh, what what's the what's the name? Teddy. Teddy. Bill is for Williams. Bob is for Theodore. Robert. I think Teddy might be for Theodore. Theodore. Hmm. Could be. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Um, maybe because of the old English pronunciation, perhaps. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. I but I like. English. I like. I mean, because I guess, like I was saying, things are accelerating at such a pace. Um, I'm outgrowing a lot of the stuff that's on radio. Yeah, I was right. Theodore. Yeah. Edward. Wait. <laughs> Edward, wait. Teddy is a diminutive of the names Edward and Theodore. Edward. Well, Edward, don't get up here. <laughs> you see English. What? Frankie. Oh, no. Sorry. They were talking about something else. Sorry. <laughs> um... Okay, no, never mind. Why would you name your child Theodora? I'm so sorry, Theodora, but what the fuck? Theodora is a nice name. I hate it. It's, uh, I wouldn't pick it for me, but I, I, <laughs> I, it's a nice name. Also, Phoebe. I, Phoebe kind of. I don't know why it makes me uncomfortable. It's the way it's spelled. Yes. It's the way it's spelled. <laughs> I've never liked the name purely because of the name with the way it's spelled. I don't have a problem with Phoebe. I just have a problem with the way it's spelled. For the longest time, as a, I used to read a lot in primary school. I was like, how do you pronounce this name? <laughs> Fubu. Only in my like Fubu. late <laughs> late teenage years did I realize, oh Phoebe, I'm like who's Phoebe? <laughs> Bobo. Bobo. <laughs> I, I I don't like the name purely based because of the, of the spelling. I just what? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, child, wait did you get to Irish names? Oh yeah, yeah no. Neve. Do you know the spelling for Neve? It's N I A M H. Okay. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd be so mad if I came across that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Nime? 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 Neve. Neve. <laughs> what? Oh, y'all gonna have to put it in brackets. 
put the put the phonetics in brackets when you spot your name because what the fuck bro what was it favorite Tell genres me. favorite no, genres food. i love no genres Who's oh. the next one okay. but i love old school stuff so soul r&b all that other stuff if you haven't figured it out by now i'm a hip-hop head but um it's it's um um you know i'm not really a lot of the new kids that are just eh, mainstream ones. So yeah, I don't really listen to hip hop as much anymore. Yeah, yeah, me either. But um, I think it's good for me though because it I don't have to. I'm not really focused on trends or whatever. That I'm just gonna create whatever trends. and let it be whatever you know. But um, yeah. How did the theme song for Silly Matunzi used to go? Oh, I, I don't know why I'm thinking of I this. Can't. Silly, no, it's wrong. That's wrong. Wow, I don't know why. Sorry. We can we can YouTube her. Okay, later. After, later after this. Later. Funny later. enough, I was actually on. Uh, I was posting on uh, the Facebook thing. Yeah. And somehow on my TL, I saw Zizo. <laughs> no, <laughs> Zizo bed. <laughs> and I just kept remembering unfortunate name. <laughs> and I just kept remembering this one sketch. Just, I can't remember who it was because I love the sketch so much, where they were like. It was it was Zizo doing an uh, interview for for Cinema Twins, right? Yeah. And she was interviewing Trey Songs, but she was speaking his cousin. And that was so funny. God. Why was she speaking his cousin to Trey Songs? And it was a sketch, and then oh. Trey Songs was just there, like, okay. Cause that... <laughs> I wish no, I... listen, my favorite. I wish American I could find it. In South Africa, <laughs> was Samuel L. Jackson in Generation? <laughs> Yo, bro, <laughs> she was going through it. He was like, "Stop, trick." <laughs> Loved it. And then there was he, there was C Breezy with Sifo. Fuck him. With Sifo, with the, <laughs> the hospital scene is so trash. Everything. Well, you know, in retrospect, you realize how trash soapies really are. <laughs> like the acting is so dramatic here. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, they all are, even in, in, in Bold and the Beautiful and all that jazz. So it's not even a South African In Bold and the Beautiful, they resurrect all the time. Is it Bold and the Beautiful? They're what? Days of our lives? They resurrect. Oh! <laughs> That's not what I heard at all. What did you hear? That's so good. <laughs> They're erect? No! <laughs> Their balls are ranked. Oh! I was like, what? <laughs> what the fuck happens to Bold and the Beautiful these days? <laughs> what the fuck happened to no, Bold and the Beautiful? I should enunciate my words rather. <laughs> okay. Um, they resurrect all, every day. My favorite because uh, my grandmother used to watch both Bold and Days. That's I. <laughs> out of choice? Uh, eventually. <laughs> eventually it was out of choice. But anyway, so she didn't understand English. Um, uh-huh. So she would ask me to watch with her so I can translate. <sighs> Terrible. But there was this phase in, I think it was Days of Our Lives, I'm not sure. But they were in a circus. And they were stuck in the circus. And they were being killed off one by one by this tiger. <laughs> Couple months later, they're all back. I, just... I don't know why they were stuck in a circus. It never made sense for the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the writing team was like, yo, we need to revamp this. We don't know what's happening. Oh. Everybody's had sex with everyone. Basically. So let's go to a circus. Oh, uh, basically. <laughs> I think they're running out. Also, they had their first black actor, I think, like two years ago or so. Days? Didn't Days have black I people? I think Bold? No. One of them. There's no way. Bold had Terry Pedro in like 20, 20, 10 or something like that for like five seconds. Oh, wow. She was there like as a doctor or some shit like that and then she left. Unless they mean like a, a then permanent... They were, yeah, maybe. Because they were... There's there's been a, f- a f- and then drips and drabs of black people. Why did I never notice them? Me. Either. Anyway, but yeah, that was that was. The young and the rest had more black people. I never watched it, unfortunately. Um, the one that I never watched was Passions. Never seen it as well. I was, as soon as I saw that little boy, that witch, I was like, what the <laughs> what? fuck? What? Wait. There was a witch with like a little boy. <laughs> I actually don't even know if it was a boy or if it was just a grown man who was really small. I'm not sure. Oh. But I feel like it was a little boy because the way that he was talking when he was dressed, it was giving me toddler. That. Passions was giving me very much um, uh, cauldron. <laughs> it's giving okay. me double double toilet trouble. <laughs> I've giving, never seen it's this. It's giving me shout out to Macbeth. 
<laughs> loved it. Oh, that's a fave. But anyway. Um, was it really? Because of the teacher that we had. We had a substitute oh. teacher um, for Macbeth at the beginning. And yeah. I just fell in love with how she taught it and then oh. the story in... What's the word? Murder and Dantanane. Oh. That's what they used to call it in the pre-Shakespeare, before Shakespeare. Oh. Remember those books that they gave us to, to simplify Shakespeare? It was called Murder and Dantanane and then it became Macbeth. Why don't I remember that? I don't know. Don't worry about it, baby. Anyway. <laughs> so apparently Shakespeare was black. I don't know. Apparently Shakespeare isn't Shakespeare, so there's a Apparently, lot. Apparently, of... a black woman was writing for Shakespeare, and he just took it. I uh, there's no a lot idea. of things that are happening. I don't know. I don't know what's happening on Tariq Nasheed's internet. <laughs> what's happening on Tariq? Anyway. On Tariq Nasheed's internet, I don't know what's going on on Dr. Omar Chance's internet. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Dr. Any, Omar. Anything is possible. Um. So yeah, music. Is he, is he really a psychologist? I think he's. He didn't renew his license or some shit like that. Hectic. Anyway. Oh, oh, he. I don't think it got taken away, but something happened. But he no. he did have a PhD, but I don't know what happened. Um, PhD in economics. <laughs> it's valid. Uh, True. <laughs> so, um, but also, you know, R and B. I love R and B. Listen to it all the time. We. This is a terrible. We just be talking. <laughs> and then what else? Anything? Any other genre besides alternative? No. No, you could. What's your favorite old artist like back in the day? Hugo first. I'm just thinking. Oh, I thought you said Hugo first. I'm like, who's that? Hugo <laughs> <laughs> first. I'm just uh, I don't have one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just everybody's so sexy to me, musically speaking. Who do I? I, I don't really remember. Don't you like Bill Withers? I'm pretty sure you were like a Bill Withers I fan. I loved Bill Withers. I grew up on Bill Withers. Yeah. Especially live at Carnegie Hall in 1980-something. Mm. Loved that. Know every single utterance, every single stutter. I love that album so much. Every, oh, what a time. <gasps> anyway, that's me. I don't know, man. It's I feel cold. like everybody... I would say Aretha Franklin because I just it's just the uniqueness in the voice. It's the, I would say that she'd probably come up there. Beautiful girls. <laughs> Beautiful guns. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> love it though. I love that for me. Um, who's this guy? Oh my angel. No, that's Anita. Sorry. Who? No, that was Anita Vega. Oh. But um, I don't know. Stevie Wonder for me. I feel like his way of um, sometimes his songs are simple, but they don't come across as like cringe simple. Yeah, they're not. I don't think I really got into his stuff, but of the things that I know of, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, there's a lot, really. I can't. I honestly can't pin it down. Cause I mean, yeah, I'm starting to get into like more experimental back in the day stuff. So like funk and all that jazz. <clears throat> yeah. I don't have. I don't have a, a single one. Honestly, I love everybody. Um, and, and I love you. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Peace Sorry, out. You. Okay. We have more. No. Nope. No, it's your life. No. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Goodbye. Okay. Okay.